are you going to be able to bring that one to now? We can do it at the little right. Of course we can. I believe in you, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the volcano. Welcome to Santorini in general. First so this is our first stop on the cruise tour. Just a volcano. Okay. Different volcanic centers, different volcanic formations which were united after successive volcanic eruptions. So ladies and gentlemen, right now we are standing walking over the youngest volcanic formation in the East Mediterranean Sea. And at this point we are standing right now, 3,600 years ago, used to be like a big mountain. And that volcano provoked the mighty volcanic eruption that humanity has ever known. But let us ask you something. Are you familiar with the term VEI, Volcanic Explosivity Index? No? Okay, time to learn. Let's review it. This skill measures the magnitude of the volcanic eruption and goes from zero up to eight. Let me give you an example to understand better what I'm saying right now, okay? The Vesuvius erupt took place in Italy, a 79 AD. It was capable of destroying of the entire civilization of Pompeii, right? It was on the scale 5 at the VEI. Santorini's eruption in 1613 BC, the Minoan eruption, was at the scale 7. That means half the challenge for half, right? Can you understand the structure of this area? Due to a series of explosions, the magma, the constant mold, the fire. So the ring through the ages got several saves. For example, 30,000 years ago, Sandorini had the double size of today's island. Here today in Sandorini, there is a complex, let's say, of volcanic formations. For me, there are three most important and of course you have to know. The first volcanic formation here in Sandorini is called, of course, Nea Kameni. Nea Kameni means you burn. And in this area, we are standing right now. In Nea Kameni, there are five craters. One of them is still active, and you can see that on the point C. Point C is about 15 to 20 minutes from here, okay? Unfortunately, uh, we cannot see lava. Actually, we still have a problem. <laughs> yeah. But okay, you can see seeds coming up from the ground, and of course you can smell the sulfur. And all active volcanoes are producing sulfur. The second volcanic formation here in Santorini called Paleakameni. Paleakameni means old bread. It's a twin sister of Neakameni, but it's not more active. So practically, Paleakameni and the Neakameni are the top of the actual volcano which is below the sea level right now. And the last volcanic formation here in Santorini called Columbo. Columbo is near the region of Ia, it's exactly behind its after sea floor as we can see right now. And the highest point of the first formation is 18 meters after sea level. The last eruption of Columbo was in 1650. Lasted for months and 70 people died because of the toxic gas, the ash, and the sulfur. Columbo right now is the most major volcanic formation here in Santorini. The last eruption in this area, in the was in 1950. Last for 22 days, but wasn't there for the people. No one died, thank God. Since then, I think this volcano is taking a nap. I have no clue actually when this volcano will wake up. I hope for today, just kidding. Just kidding. But when we decide to wake up, we have a deadline of two weeks to evacuate not only the island of the Rhine, but the whole region of Cyclades. Do you know Cyclades? Cyclades is a group of islands, 33 islands, so the Rhine is one of them, and we have to evacuate all of them. Where are the task? I don't know. But okay, don't worry, because an integrated system of monitoring seismic activity is installed here in Santorini by the Institute for Static and Monitoring Santorini's Volcano. So guys, we are cool, okay, relax, all under control, I promise, okay? So, I would like to share to you some information about the Caldera, the Safe and the Minan eruptions. And of course, after that, we have enough time to go to the top to see the active crater, the panoramic view, to take photos, to walk around, and to return back to the boat to go for swimming, okay? So, for that reason, I have a map with me to help you understand what I'm seeing. So, you're okay with this map? All of you? Yeah? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the Caldera of Santorini, the largest caldera all over the world. Actually,
actually do you know what that means? Oh, wait, wait. Okay, actually means the cold room. Okay, you see it's like a big cooking pot, but a lot of people say that it means crater. Could be because it looks like a crater, okay? And something as you know is Santorini used to be a circular island. And all of that we are seeing right now were once connected. Where you see sea inside the caldera was that. That reason, ancient Greeks used to call Santorini as Strongili. Strongili Greek means round, round island. You see it's like a circle, a ring. So, the caldera was formed by the collapse of the center of the island. Right now, we are standing on the center of the island, put by magma during a giant volcanic eruption. The Minoan eruption in 1613 BC. Actually, this eruption was the largest one and the most destructive one. And of course, remember it because it had global impact and evidence of it can be found all over the South Hemisphere. After the Minoan eruption, ancient farmers covered the whole island, expanding the South Sea, Patal, Kosh, Rhodos, Dodecanica, as well as Crete, from the Palace of Knossos to the Palace of Zagros. Ancient farmers with stratosphere and dark last for two weeks and winter for two years. Yeah. After the Minoan eruption, only three brave parts remain of the island of Strongi. The first part that remained after the Minoan eruption is the main island of Santorini. This is the main island of Santorini from here until the lighthouse is the main island of Santorini. And all of that island called Pira. Okay, from King Piras. Pira, F Pira is the capital of Santorini. On the map, it's right here. And it's exactly behind. The second part that remained after the Minoan eruption is the island of Tirasia. This is the island of Tirasia, from King Tiras' daughter, Tirasia. It will be high, you could see the top of Tirasia. And the last part remains after the Minoan eruption is the island of Aspronisia. Aspronisia, right now, it's just a rock, a small one here, you see. Aspronisia means white island because the top is white. Okay, logical. So these are the three peripheral parts of the of the island of Strongili after the Minoan eruption. Today, Caldera's diameter is 7 to 11 kilometers and the total depth is 780 meters, of which only the 450 meters are below the sea level. Okay, but why we call it as a Minoan eruption? We know very well that the Minoan civilization was in Crete. So, association between Santorini's eruption and the destruction of Minoan civilization in Crete. We call it, until today, as Minoan eruption because for many years scientists had adopted the theory of another archaeologist, Spyros Marinatos, that Santorini's eruption and the huge tsunami that followed immediately afterwards was the cause of the destruction of Minoan civilization in Crete. However, according to the modern dating method, Santorini's eruption occurred in 1613 BC, as I told you, right? And how we have struggled the dating? No carbon. Because of the non crags, yes, no carbon. Because of the non crags, which was buried under the volcanic acids. And after the examination of the University of Denmark, finally it verified that the Minan eruption was in 1613 BC. In contrast, the Minan civilization in Greece was preserved. Albeit decline, but was preserved for at least another century. The thing that the Greek collection in Greece was of course were influenced by this volcanic event as suggested by Pagano's theory. The Minoan decline was initiated by great devastations in Crete, which occurred, according to the ceramic chronology of course, around 1450 BC. The eruption here was 1613 BC. Today the association between the facts, just the title has prevailed. Okay. Settlement in the west side of Tirasia. 
and the last settlement in south. Akrotiri settlement. Akrotiri was the multiple settlement. Akrotiri, it's an archaeological site, you have to visit guys. We call it also as a prehistoric Pompeii, or Pompeii of the Aegean, because of course, it was before the original Pompeii in Italy. In the same story, it's Akrotiri. Excavation Akrotiri, of course, we found weapons, we found figurines, vessels, houses, frescoes, okay? Everything okay? But we didn't find those balls. Skeletons. What happened? In Pompeii they found. Here why not? Any ideas? Fun thing to help excavation, to help us? They knew. Okay, so they run away. Okay, of course. I'll keep that. Yes? Something else? Guys, don't miss the next vlog where we will show you the views from the highest so point. You. you have to leave now. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, actually, uh, we don't know yet. Yes. But okay, your theories are very good. Actually, there is theory from the excavation of the city. We figured out that the old port here in Santorini was where the island of Aspronis is right now. So it's very possible that as soon as they realized that this was going to happen, all of them just ran to old port to be able to escape, right? The double of the car from theology, organology, of course, says to us that these civilizations, so much and how much knowledge they had, they had no time to escape, to leave. There were many of them. Scientists possibly believe that all of these civilizations are below us right now, below this level. And that's why we didn't find humans bomb. I hope the anthropology archaeology helps us to find something in the future to tell you, of course, because unfortunately for now we don't have answers. I would like to say that there are many connections with some other biblical incidents that took place at the same exact time with the eruption. For example, an extremely thick cloud of acid famine that covered Egypt was connected to one of the red flags needed during the Exodus of the Jews. Or some might say that the opening of the Red Sea was connected with this natural catastrophe. Or some might say that these civilizations were connected to love and gladness. I know there are many countries who claim it, okay? Cyprus, New Zealand, Gibraltar, and some of these countries who want to be part of this meet. Santorini as well, okay? <laughs> but we have the Greek philosopher Plato, you know Plato. He described the Atlantis as a circular island with a big mountain in the middle with three settlements that sunk into the sea. Looks like Santorini, eh? But okay, I don't know, guys. It's up to you, okay? If you want to learn more about the Los Atlantis, there is a museum at Megalo Cori, Los Atlantis Experience. You can visit. Last but not least, I would like to show you that on map right now we are standing here at Nea Kameni, 500 years old, okay? And our second part is exactly If you haven't here, watched the previous video, just go ahead and watch. Okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. Now we can start going up to the job. So if you like the video, the video please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.